what's going on y'all we're back with another reaction video today so we got kyle brant's basement uh espn analyst kyle brant uh so this is a video pretty much of him talking to josh allen about the ravens at least that's what this title says on this video it says josh allen on bills ravens week four baltimore what it says baltimore have lamar one of the best qbs and play playmakers on defense so i'll go ahead and check this out real quick you do and we'll get to the ravens Two days later after the Dolphins, how are you feeling emotionally? Uh, mostly I'm fine. Again, it's 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 one game. It's not going to define our season. Um, you know, again, but at the end of the day, I, I could say that I was on. The type of player Josh Allen is, you can't can't get caught up with, with emotions in the game. Like, it's on to the next after you lose. Same thing with, with plays, you know, unless it's like the Super Bowl or playoff game. I feel like it's, it's on to the next, you know. Can't really get caught up with emotions, you know. But as anybody like like them elite players, like they like that stuff. Like you know, some good players too for sure. But you know, can't get caught up with that. Honestly, proud of how our team battled. Um, mm -hmm. Given the circumstances that everything was going on, you know, we never let go. Um, our defense played an outstanding game. Obviously, offensively, we we wish we had a couple. You know, myself included. I wish I had a, a couple plays back that could have uh, changed the outcome of the game. But again, that's that's why we play. You know, we'll we'll use this as an advantage and, and learn from it and. Um, but that was last week, and again, we're we're completely focused on Baltimore Ravens now, playing against a, a really good Ravens squad with Lamar Jackson, who's um, playing, you know, some of the best football in the league right now. You know, they're 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 scary haven't done predictions offense. yet, but playmakers on deep. I'm picking the Bills. My bad. I'm picking the Ravens. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. Bills kind of tore up a little bit. They ain't missing some players, so, and it's Lamar, bro. Like, he's playing amazing right now. Defense, uh, that we got the Ravens are a good team. So. And, I, I can't say uh, it's just LeVar. They're a good team. Today, but... Tomorrow and try to put our best foot forward going forward. Josh, Bills at Ravens. You and Lamar, same draft class. What's your relationship with him? I freaking love Lamar. You know, I I, I have so much admiration and respect for him, obviously. Um, that's my dog right here, too. This is Sky. Oh, what's the um, dog's name? This is Sky. She's a silver lab. She's going crazy right now. She's the best, though. Freaking love her. Oh, that's beautiful. But back to Lamar. That's that's okay. I I can't <laughs> I can't say enough good things about Lamar. Again, like his the way that he plays, he plays the game the right way. He loves his teammates. His teammates love him. Um, he's playing you know some of the best football in the league right now. And you know we all know the pre-draft notions of of what was going on with that. So to see him lighten up the league and and doing all this stuff, it's it's inspirational. And I know it's inspirational too. Um, a lot of the kids in Baltimore, a lot of kids in the country, you know, that uh, have been told that they can't do something. They go out there and, you know, not necessarily prove everybody wrong, but prove themselves right and have that internal belief. And he's always had that, you know, um, going back to college. I remember sitting in my, um, we were playing, I think it might have been Northern Illinois. Were we were in the hotel and they okay. were playing Syracuse. He just absolutely went off. He hurtled the guy and uh, just went nuts that game. And it was like my first uh, introduction to Lamar Jackson. I was like, this dude is absolutely nuts on the football. First time I saw Lamar, it was the high school clip. And I did not know that was Lamar. Like years later, come out, that was Lamar. I was like, what? It's crazy how things come around. Like, it was crazy. Like, <laughs> there's not not many ways you can stop this guy. Um, so our defense is, is going to have their hands full. And offensively, we're going to have to do our best job of putting up points. Uh, it's awesome that you're sitting in DeKalb, Illinois, watching Lamar highlights in a hotel room. Yeah. We all were watching the same game, man. You were riveted. <laughs> yeah, it really was. Um, listen, you and I talked a couple of years ago, and it was before you had your long-term deal, and we talked about the idea of being franchise tagged. And you were funny. You are like, ew, you know, franchise tag as a quarterback. You got your deal. Lamar doesn't have an agent. He doesn't have Lamar a long-term deal, the bank, which kind of does him. He does it in his own way. Uh, I don't know if he's requesting a bigger deal than Deshaun Watson. I don't know if that's accurate or true, but he can get it. If there's a team willing to pay it, they're going to – he can get it. I, I'm sure he wants to stick with the Ravens. I'm sure that's his squad. That's his team. Those are his guys. I'm sure he wants to stick with them. And he might take a pay cut, but – if it's manageable and if it's possible for them to give him 240 million guaranteed some way, shape or form, of course he's going to stay, but 
maybe even two, maybe even two thirty, same contract or two hundred guarantee, but maybe like more incentives, more bonus that he can realistically hit. Maybe, but I don't know. I don't know how much of a pay cut he gonna, how much of a hometown discount he gonna be willing to take. And he goes out there and just makes plays every single week. Never mind you talking about his situation. Would you have ever been able to do that as yourself? Like just no agent, no long term deal. I'm just gonna bet on myself and just make see what happens. It's really unique. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a couple ways you can look at that. Like, I think himself, him betting on himself, like, and the way that he's playing is gonna it's gonna pay off. Um, and again, there's that internal belief that he thinks that things are gonna work out and he's gonna stay the course. And um, the fact that he doesn't have a deal is kind of crazy. Uh, but I'm I'm sure there's one coming soon, uh, and if it's not with them, it's gonna be with somebody else. Um, he's he's that special of a player, and um, you know he he shows it on the football field week in and week out. Um, but yeah, that's I don't know if I could have done it. So you know, props mm -hmm. and kudos to him, and you know, hopefully it does get done. Um, you know, we're we're I think everybody really in the league and outside the league is pulling for him for that to get done because again, I think. Uh, he deserves every penny that he's going to get. You know, I can't speak for myself, but I imagine sometimes getting that long-term contract might be like, you know, getting freedom from like a, a prison that you've been in for a long time. Josh. This is in the books. This is our weekly segment over under with Mina and Marcus. Mina, stand by. Marcus, uh, explain what's on your feet and why, because usually you come in. I guess that was all his comments on him because uh, it, it cut. That wasn't the official interview. I wouldn't mind actually reacting to the official interview. I got, I got caught up in that. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, but I guess we'll end it there. Uh, y'all let me know y'all thoughts, man. Um, who do y'all think is gonna win? And uh, you know, if the Bills have a shot, how could they pull it out? What what would they need to do to pull it out? Um, I don't, I don't know if it's much you could do. You have to go back and look at that fourth quarter tape just the fourth quarter of uh the uh dolphins and, and ravens game and watch that over and over again but how do you stop them you know it's a, it looked like an unstoppable team but let me know your thoughts in the comment section i appreciate y'all for watching hit the like button for me subscribe stay tuned stay blessed